I bought it then. <laughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this, but I'm sitting in my very own van, in my name, ready to go. So, um, <laughs> I'm still trying to believe it myself. Um, basically, I have wanted to live in a van for at least two years, probably longer. I've, it's something I've always kind of dreamed about and um, didn't really know what it took to take the leap and didn't really feel like I was ready. Um, but with all of this COVID stuff, I kind of just found myself landed in the perfect situation. Um, I was still down from work, which means I probably got um, at least three, maybe six months of unemployment with very limited income. Um, so as a result, I actually uh, sold everything I owned and moved out of my apartment. Um, it was a little bit of a panic move, but it was definitely the right thing. Um, and I'm just in my sister's spare room at her place uh, at the moment. So I kind of just realized that now is the perfect opportunity. I've got time to convert a van. Um, I just sold all my stuff and uh, yeah, like it was, I guess, just time for my next big thing. So um, it was quite a process looking around and I have just picked up this baby. Um, I grabbed her last night and um, I actually slept in here as well last night because uh, why wouldn't you? Uh, so first things first, I have, definitely need to get insulation. It was like six degrees last night, so it was really cold. Um, I've always known that vans need to be insulated, but last night certainly gave me um, a before experience to compare to once this is all finished. Um, it's actually a semi-converted van already. I've got some pretty big plans, so I'm probably gonna just gut it and start again, um, but at least it's kind of got um, a bit of a start, a bit of an idea. Um, I'll take you for a quick um, a quick look around uh, to see what the previous owners actually did. Uh, I've started already just kind of taping out a few things so you'll be able to check it out. Um, let me take you on a tour. Okay, so this is her. It's a 2003 um, Toyota Hiace commuter. Um, it does already have a basic build, um, a small fridge. It does have a second battery in the back there, but it isn't connected up to any solar or anything, which is something that I'll eventually be doing. Um, and you can see that there's a pretty basic, um, you know, benches and things like that. Um, the white tape there, that's kind of my rough markings for the kitchen that I want to be putting into. Uh, into here and then it's already got a bed. It is a full-size double bed with a proper mattress. Again, the idea here is that I want to be putting in a slightly smaller mattress than double. Um, it is just me in here. There's no other person that I'm um, planning on living in here with. Um, Okay, so that's the van. It's pretty simple at the moment um, and it's going to get even simpler before it gets <laughs> impressive or even livable again. Um, but yeah, so what's my plan? Um, I am actually converting this with my dad. Um, he's an electrician by trade and has always been a super handy man. Um, and so I've been chatting to him and he's agreed to take on the challenge of um, working on this with me and basically showing me how to convert my van. Um, and yeah, I'm super nervous and excited and um, scared. <laughs> it's a pretty big project that I'm about to take on. Um, and I'm very aware of how long it's gonna take and how much hard work it's gonna go into it. But I think it's, it's bigger than buying a van. Um, that is the very first scary big step. Um, but it's acknowledging the fact that I want to live um, a different lifestyle to what most people do here in Sydney um, and open up the possibility of traveling around Australia and things like that. And uh, everyone keeps asking me, well, are you planning a big life and things like that? And it just, it honestly depends what happens with the world, with COVID, with my job. Um, for now, I just want to get um, a good base set up, which means building the van in the first place and then seeing what time I have left um, of unemployment period. Um, but yeah, I think for me, it's just a really big opportunity to be able to do more, see more, even just locally um, and semi-locally um, on weekends and things like that. That's my main focus at the moment um, and really give me somewhere to live <laughs> in the ideal um, situation. And then travel plans will 
eventually come but I really am taking this sort of one step at a time and this is a big time consuming project and I kind of just need to focus on one thing at a time so um, talk of a big lap and travel and things like that yes it's really exciting yes it will eventually be on the cards um, but I cannot say when I don't know when I'll be ready financially I don't know when the world will be ready when I've got the time um, so yeah let's build this bad boy. I'm going to take you along on the journey. So um, stay tuned. And um, yeah, hopefully I have a name for her soon as well. But yeah, holy shit, I bought a bed. <laughs>